Hello, it's Wesley with 22 Zines, and I'm going to be filming a very quick little unboxing first impressions thing. I, it's not going to be too long because I don't have a lot of time right now, but I really want to open this up and I really want to check it out. This is a deck that I first saw um, Aquamarine18, uh, Laura's channel. I first saw Laura do a little walkthrough, quick show off of it, and I had to buy it before she even finished doing the walkthrough because it was just so cool. And I actually contacted the artist who is now going to be doing the cover for my the next issue of my Perzine Unfair Maiden. I am so, so excited about that. And she's so nice. The artist is just so nice and so wonderful and deserves every support. This is her Major Arcana deck called the Sapphic Enchantress, and the artist is, sorry if I fuck up the pronunciation here, Aisha Mira Yashin. Um, it's, uh, it's a very cute handmade little deck. All of the cards are hand cut, and it just looks like such a beautiful little deck. I definitely, I don't mind Major Arcana only decks. I actually kind of like them for certain things, so... Um, I was happy to get it, but uh, if possible, I would also recommend supporting the artist. Uh, she has prints, she has, uh, I think she has pins, she has some jewelry, she has a lot of stuff up on her shop, so even if you're not quite ready to get the Sapphic Enchantress deck until the miners are finished, which um, she is hoping on finishing the miners at some point and releasing a full-fledged tarot deck, but anyway, even if you don't want to get the Major Arcana deck yet, there are many ways to support this artist, and she is absolutely deserving. So I got the witchy bundle that comes with the deck, a bag, a sachet, and a little zine that has some descriptions of the cards and that thing. This is straight out of the box, uh, or, you know, straight out of the little bag that it was shipped in, so I'm just going to start exploring it right now. Thank you for your order from the Illustration Witch Shop. And of course I'll have... Thank you for your order from the Illustration Witch Shop. And of course I will have links to the shop and links to everything and some of my favorite of, the, of her prints and all that sort of thing. This is a nice little sachet of herbs. Self-love sachet. Contains cinnamon... Rosemary, orange, rose. Carry the sachet with you to help promote self-appreciation, self-love, healing, and inner peace. This tarot bag was designed and handmade by Ziggy Cooper. Use it to protect your cards from physical damage and to keep them spiritually safe. You can find Ziggy and their work on Instagram at Tomboy the Goblin. I'll have a link to that as well. This one's a little more tightly knotted. Beautiful little velvet bag. I love velvet. I can't have too many velvet things because I have a dog and so it's just, the fur is just gonna get everywhere but it's it's very nice, very good quality. Oh. This is a little print of the Justice card. This is the one that I selected. And it's very, very beautiful, very detailed. I love the ink. Here's a little notebook, also with Justice on the front. Oh, and I nicked it a little. That's my fault. That's okay. It's it's a notebook. It's going to it's going to come into some damage in the line of duty anyway. This was all hand done. Got a few little glue strips here so you know, so you know it was handmade, you know it was fresh made. Oh, wow. It's a hardcover notebook. Looks like hand bound just with uh cardboard and paper. This is so cute. This is so pretty. I love this. 
I'm definitely going to use this as a little art journal. And now to the main event, the Sapphic Enchantress tarot deck. Oh wow, it's packed! Oh my goodness! It is packed with these rose petals. Or rose hips, what are these called? Oh, that's really nice. Alright, I'm just going to spread them all out, just because. Here is the little zine that comes with them. I think I said that the zine was in the envelope. I thought it might have been, but the zine is in the box, and the envelope had the notebook. So the zine does come in the box with the with the deck. I designed this tarot deck with the intention of creating a card system that could resonate with an audience especially consisting of people of marginalized genders and sexual orientations. This deck consists in exclusively of women as a deliberate expression of the intrinsic wholeness of women within themselves. This deck explores not only the love that can exist between women, but also the strength that exists in women themselves. And I'm also going to read this part that Laura had in her video because I think it's very beautiful and it's really what made me want to get this deck. It says, Please note that this tarot deck is deliberately representative of all women, including women who do not have biologically female bodies. TERFs are not welcome here. So that is... As soon as I, as soon as I read that, and or you know, as soon as I heard Laura say that, and as soon as I looked at the first image, I was like, "Yep, yep, this is just right." <laughs> so there's more on Intro to Tarot, using the cards, and then a full page. It looks like on each of them with some key upright meanings, key reverse meanings, and then a nice beefy analysis description. I'm very excited about that, and it looks like it has some descriptions of the art, as you can see here with Judge and says, this card shows two women kneeling amongst gravestones with their arms outspread to the sky, so there's going to be some description of the choices of the artwork. And here is more about the artist. I am a 17-year-old lesbian artist and poet artist and poetess from Istanbul, Turkey, and Nicosia, Cyprus. I am currently based in Cambridge, England, and I am planning on studying illustration in London. I am of Jewish and Muslim heritage, and I am a practicing eclectic pagan witch. So that is a little bit about Aisha Mira Yashin here. Again, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. That's the trouble with reading, right? <laughs> when I was a kid, I always thought that the word hors d'oeuvres was pronounced hours divorce because it was I had first encountered it reading it instead of hearing it. All right, all right. Here's the deck. I'm just going to slide this off, actually, because I kind of want to keep it as it was tied. Here's a nice little cover card. Oh, wow. And here we go. These are all hand cut, and they're actually pretty, they're pretty well done. It looks, you know, they, they work, they work well. It's, it's very well done. Here's the fool. I'm just going to do a pretty quick flip through on this because I don't want this video to be too terribly long. The Magician. The High Priestess. I love that she's reading a book. The Empress. The Emperor. The Hierophant. The Lovers. The Chariot. Strength. Strength is number eight. The Hermit. Sorry about the brief interruption. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. I love this. The Wheel of Fortune is one of my favorite cards in 
in general. Here's Justice, which we saw on the notebook and on the print. The Hanged Man. Death. I love all of this detail. Temperance. The devil. The tower. I love these, these positions. The star. The moon. The sun. Judgment. And the world. Oh my goodness, the world is incredibly detailed. And there's the deck. That's all the majors. They are so pretty. I love these cards. They're very, um, very good cardstock. You know, it's it is it's printed on paper, but it's nice solid cardstock paper. Feels like the sort of uh, standard cardstock that you'd get at like a copy shop. And I love that. <laughs> I, that's what I draw on for everything. So. I absolutely love this deck. I'm very excited to start working with it. I like using majors only decks as uh, daily card pulls or as inspiration for artwork or poetry. Um, really anything where you're not going to get, you, you don't need to do a large spread. You don't need to do multiple cards at once because um, then you don't, you don't run out of the cards so quickly. <laughs> that's really all that it's about for me. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up, but the Sapphic Enchantress Tarot deck, I'm very happy to have this. I'm very, um, I'm very excited to be working with this artist for the cover of Unfair Maiden 2, and I will do a little show off of that as soon as it's all done. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you consider adding this beautiful art deck to your collection. Bye.